Hello everyone, my name's Lost and welcome back to a brand new series. Uh, this time we are going to be creating a single player MOBA game. Um, we may make it multiplayer in the future, I'm not sure yet, I'm not very comfortable with multiplayer just yet, but perhaps it's something we'll look into together uh, later on. But in this first episode it's going to be dedicated solely to uh, just setting things up and movement as well. So to start with, we need three different images, uh, and they are: we need a player, the background map, and a portal. Now the sprite warrior is essentially the person we're going to be moving around. The background map uh, is going to be sort of the the one lane. It's going to be a one lane mobile, and it's essentially going to be the road. Um, now it's going to end up being really long is the map so I don't know if it might be, to, might be better to use tiles in the end but I'm just going to do it this way probably very inefficient to do it this way but um, this is just the way we're going to do it because I'm I don't really like working with tiles and stuff even though it is sometimes uh, you know necessary uh, and also we need a portal now the portals ultimately what we're going to be defending and what the AI is going to be defending on their side um, and we need two objects, we need the warrior and the portal also I do apologise if this looks a little bit confusing the way that I'm recording this, um, what I've done is I've pre-recorded um, like the setup and the coding and stuff and then I want to talk over it because there was a very um, sort of valid criticism actually that I recognised from past series and that is people, some people didn't think that I was um, explaining things well enough and I kind of understand that because when you when I'm programming and talking at the same time it's very easy to miss things so I'm, I'm trying this new format instead and we'll see if it works uh, but yeah we also need a room uh, obviously this room is absolutely massive uh, 5000 pixels wide I believe yeah at the bottom you can see that um, so yeah just set the background as the BG map and instances, obviously I've just dragged these on in the places that I want them to start. Um, we're using viewports. Uh, just one of them, I think, yeah, viewport zero it is. Um, and you want to be setting that at 1280 by 700. So let's now get into some actual programming, shall we? So open up the warrior. We're going to need a create event and a step event. Um, yeah, I'm just naming this variables, and so we're going to set the depth at minus one, just so it's on the top. The room speed, don't know if we should be doing here or in a control object, but that essentially, if you remember Game Maker 2, we'd set the room speed. Um, you essentially do that through code this time around, instead of, instead of in the room. So I've just put it in here for now, perhaps that will change in the future, but I think it's okay in here. Index and MY is essentially um, going to be our destination points. In terms of coordinates, moving obviously gonna t gonna say if we're moving or not. So moving on to the step, uh, I think I just call this main. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, so here we'll, we're saying if mouse button pressed is um, the right mouse, then we're gonna sort of set the target or set the position where we want to move to. I may have to do some fancy editing with this and speed it up a little bit <laughs> because we'll be here all day otherwise. Oh yeah, so if the mouse on the y-axis, so from top to bottom, is between uh, 210, or if it's bigger than 210, sorry, and less than 510, then we will be able to move. This this is just going to restrain the character from. Uh, sorry, we're going to restrain the character inside the um, the lane, if you like. So we can't then sort of run out the lane because that wouldn't make much sense. And then we're just saying, once we've right clicked, if um, we've right clicked within the lane, then the index and my become where the mouse is. It's essentially the mouse position, and the moving um, variable sets to true. So let's get this thing moving. So then we say, yep, if moving is true, if I can spell, then 
certain things will happen. Yeah, start movement. So we're going to use MP linear step for this, um, just because it works well enough. Obviously, you just fill it out with the end x and end y, and the speed of three or whatever you want really. You can choose it, and that where I've put true there, where I've written true, um, that essentially means it's going to check all of the um, objects on the map, and if it sort of collides with it, then it will it'll stop moving, uh, and it won't try to move through it. Um, so that's just the way we're going to do it, just so we don't run into the portal and run over it, and you know, uh, run into towers when we eventually add those, and etc. etc. Um, now we're just saying if the x and the y equals the index and the my, then moving will equal, is going to set to false, so we don't continue moving because obviously we're at the destination at that point. Um, and we're also going to check out for this as well. Uh, so if x is x previous and the y is y previous then that means we'll stop as well uh, and the reason for that is because if the x equals the x previous and the y equals the y previous that means we're essentially stuck we're standing still and uh, at that point you know so so let's just imagine for a second that you right click behind the portal but because your character hits the portal it can't get to the destination required therefore the x is going to equal the x previous and as is it's the same with the y so therefore we we'll stop moving, so we're going to make that equal false, uh, because obviously it can't complete the path, so yeah. Uh, next is we're going to um, have some camera controls in here. Now ultimately this is going to be different for, um, it's going to be different for Game Maker Studio 1 um, rather than 2, because you, I wouldn't do this in Game Maker 1 unless unless you, you know the equivalent code to make this happen in Game Maker 1. What I would do is I would just set up the room and go into the your room code and, and set the object following to your object warrior. Um, that's the way I would do it in Game Maker 1. Uh, and I, I must praise this is how you controls in Game Maker 2. Come on, it's, it's. I don't even know what the word is, but it's just better. You know? It just works a bit better. Or maybe not better, but it works easier. Like everything is much more simple to sort of do. So yeah, we're saying if the mouse on the x-axis is bigger than view x plus six forty. Now, unfortunately, I'd forgotten to set the variable view x up in create, but I think I do that soon. Um. So the view x to begin with is going to equal zero, and it's going to move as we move the camera. Um. So because the length of the view that we're looking at in the room is 12, eight, uh, yeah, 1,280. Uh, 640 is half of that, so we're saying if the mouse is on the right half of the screen, then the camera is going to move to the right. And yeah, view camera zero. Um, and then yeah, we're just shifting the view x by 20. So yeah, there we go. And then we're going to just say if if the opposite is true, so if, if the mouse is in the um, sort of left hand side of the screen, if I can write properly, then what on earth? <laughs> what on earth was that? Yeah, so camera, set view, come on, lost, you can do it. I believe in you. Um, yeah, so essentially, this is just the opposite of what we've just done, right? So make the camera minus 20. To go to the left. Um, oh yeah, and then after all that's done, we then just set the view x uh, to the position that it's actually currently at. And I believe that's it for this warrior object. Yeah. So what I'm doing here is I've just gone back to the create event and I'm adding in the view x variable now. Uh, so yeah, camera get view, and then it should be view zero. There we go. And to begin with, that just equals zero because that's, it's at the very left-hand side of the screen. So now we'll just uh, try it to make sure everything's working so far, and see if I can 
sort of describe what's happening with the code a little bit. So yeah, as we're right clicking, obviously we know that we're setting the uh, index and NY. Obviously now I'm trying to click on the portal, but because uh, it's trying to get there, it's hit the portal, recognizes it cannot reach its destination. And because the X previous now equals the X and the Y previous now equals the X, uh, it, the movement variable is set to true because it cannot move any further. So that's why we did that. And obviously now I'm trying to move around it, I can't. Uh, and yeah, oh, <laughs> it looks a little bit dodgy like that because um, obviously we haven't created the background for this yet. We've only done a very small background, uh, and for some reason it likes to spaz out just a little bit. But what we're going to do real quick is uh, we're just going to fix the camera so that it can't go further than the left. You know what I mean? So it can't go, can't go less than zero because obviously that's impossible. You can't, you'll never be able to get to that point. So let's just do that. Uh, so in order to fix the camera, it's actually quite easy. Um, all we have to do is say, uh, in this section here, we, we just then have to type, you know, if view x is bigger than zero. Um, no, just, just just bigger loss, there you go. <laughs> Got it in the end. Uh, so yeah, if it's bigger than zero, then we allow it to move the camera to the left. And yeah. So... Oh, let's just check to make sure it works. Forgot I did this. And yeah, so I can't move it to the left, but I can move it to the right. Um, so yes then, guys, I think uh, that'll do it for this episode. Um, thank you very much for watching. Any feedback in the comments would be brilliant. Um, yeah, please do just let me know how you feel about this first series, how it's been recorded. If I've been able to explain things a little bit better, because I'm not worried about typing as I'm you know trying to explain it uh, but yeah any criticism is absolutely fine just give me your feedback give me your thoughts and yeah thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time